is going on guys? Sinister here back with another Madden video and we're going to take a look at the, the rosters for the AFC East starting with the Buffalo Bills. Well Tyrod Taylor with an 82 overall that makes him higher than Joe Flacco if you've seen my first video which is interesting. Shady McCoy's got the 92 overall. Sammy Watkins Ugh. he is no longer on this team so we got to keep that in mind. Uh, now a member of the LA Rams which is still weird to say. Rod Streeter down there falling to a 71. Charles Clay forgot he went to Buffalo as well. Uh, that offensive line, Eric Wood dropped big time uh, from previous years. Offensive line looking okay, not the best. Jerry Hughes was really hoping he would go to Cleveland the other year, but never did, but it is what it is. Kyle Williams and Marcel Darius, good defensive tackling right there. Don't really know much of these people. I do know some Ronald Darby on the Bills, though, so I can't really comment much on these people. Uh, I know Jordan Poyer all too well. He only played for Cleveland all his career, and I just remember him muffing the punt that just pretty much ruined our, Oh, I don't want to talk about it. Um, Michael Hyde, Steve Hoshka, didn't even know he was on the Bills as well, and Colton Schmidt. I feel like punters and kickers just go everywhere, and I always miss them because <laughs> I just don't pay attention. Next up, well, I guess we'll do the Dolphins uh, since they'll probably be next in line alphabetically. Yes, they are. We got Ryan Tannehill, and of course, Jay Cutler is in here somewhere. My guess is he'll be an 80, 79, 78 overall is my guess. Uh, Jay Ajay, pretty, I, I'm a fan of him. Six foot, 229, fast, powerful, just just all around. He's just a good running back. I think he's more of a, a system guy, but hey, they want to say that about Brady. and Look at him, so <laughs> can't really deny greatness. Uh, no fullbacks on the Dolphins, and we got Jarvis Landry, Devontae Parker, Kenny Stills. They got they have a receiving core that can be something. I mean, they just got to make it something. <laughs> Anthony Fasano and Julius Thomas. Julius Thomas has fallen off since not having Peyton Manning. Of course, was that Marquise Gray's on the Dolphins? I didn't know that. He used to play for the Browns. Larry Tunsil. Oh, I forgot he went to the doll. I forgot about him, man. I was so hyped for him coming out of college, and that whole debacle with his stepfather was just, oh, that was a mess. Mike Pouncey almost said Marquis Pouncey, but the wrong brother. Really bad offensive line going on there for the Dolphins. Cameron Wake, obviously not really bad. Um, Willie Hayes and Dominica Sue. Lawrence Timmons, I forgot he signed there as well. That interception he had the other day was beautiful. That was just beautiful. Oh my gosh, just red to eyes and took that ball right out of the air. Uh, Kiko Alonso. I almost said Ronaldo McLean, but that is that is not Ronaldo McLean. <laughs> uh, Byron Maxwell on the Dolphins. I man, I just completely forgot about free agency and that teams went other places. I, I don't know. <laughs> Nate Allen. And Rashad Jones and of course kickers and punters next up on the list would be the Patriots and then the Jets go ahead and do the Jets first I guess we'll go to the quarterbacks Josh McCown Bryce Petty and Christian Hackenberg oh my gosh it's good to not have the worst quarterback situation in the NFL anymore it's really nice Matt Forte don't know why he's on this team they released all their veterans and then they keep Matt Forte I don't know um <laughs> Belial Powell no receivers whatsoever. I mean, Quincy is, he's good. But, I mean, I don't think he's a number one. I, mean, I think it could be a two, uh, maybe a three, but not a number one. I mean, Robbie Anderson, Ardius Stewart, I, I can't even tell you. I don't know these guys. I do know Quincy, and that that is about as far as it gets. Uh, I forgot they even released Eric Decker, to be honest with you. Austin Sefrian Jenkins forgot he was on this team as well. Still thought he was with the uh, Tampa Bay. And when they selected O.J. Howard, I was like, why did they get O.J. Howard? They still have that pick. Well, no, no, nah, I forgot he left. So that explained it all <laughs> draft night for me. Offensive line, I don't expect to be very good. If I, I don't expect any of this team to be very good, actually. Um, but the offensive line specifically. Leonard Williams, the defensive line, though, is pretty good. We got Leonard Williams, Muhammad, uh, Muhammad Wilkinson. Um, Wilkerson. And I feel like there was another premier guy on their defensive line, but maybe I'm just mistaken. Demario Davis. I forgot. Who do we trade? That's where we got the Calvin Pryor from, was Demario Davis. 
Uh, Sheldon Richardson, that was the other guy I was thinking of, but he's not technically on the defensive line. Buster Screen still back there, another guy from Cleveland. And Jamal Adams. Jamal Adams got the 81 overall for the rookies. Really nice, really nice. And that is it for that. Now we are on to the Patriots, the Super Bowl winning team. Going to be a great team, obviously. Tom Brady, Jimmy Garoppolo, and Jacoby Brissett. Brissett, however you say his name. Deion Lewis and James White, both above 80 overalls. James Devlin even has an 84 overall. Julian Edelman with an 89. Brandon Cooks. Oh my gosh, I just, I forgot. To Julian Edelman, Brandon Cooks, Chris Hogan, Danny Amendola, Andrew Hawkins is retired, so he's not going to be on there. Matthew Slater, and of course, we still got Gronkowski and Dwayne. I just, man, and then the offensive line still great. Well, great isn't the word I would use, but more than capable of protecting Tom Brady. We'll say that. Um, they lost Ninkovich, though. I don't know what position he was. I think he was an end. Um, so that's going to hurt them for sure. Dante Hightower still on the team. He's a beast. No, I thought he retired. Or maybe it just didn't count for the game, or I'm thinking of someone else, but I'm pretty sure he did. Malcolm Butler, Stephen Gilmore, Devin McCourty, significantly better than his twin, who be, is on Cleveland, which is sad. But, you know, it is what it is. And Patrick Chung, I've always liked him. I don't know why. There was a play he had a couple years ago. I don't know if it was an interception or... A huge hit for a force fumble, but I was like, damn, this guy can ball. Uh, and I've been a fan of him since. Uh, and Goskowski to a 76. Maybe it's just age. I don't know. And Ryan Allen. That is going to wrap up this video, guys. If you enjoyed it, be sure to hit the like button and drop a subscribe. I think I just completely reversed that. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and drop a like. There we go. If you enjoyed the video. And I'll see you again soon.